I'm working at disassembling and cleaning these injectors. One of the things that I don't know yet is what is the uh, proper torque setting to tighten these two portions of the injector body together. And uh, maybe once this is uploaded onto YouTube, someone will see this and leave that proper information there. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, using the torque wrench to test how much torque does it take to loosen it. And the uh, I don't think the loosening torque and the tightening torque are the same. However, uh, with that information, I can do more uh, more testing and uh, basically figure out, I think, how much uh, the tightening torque is. Anyways, I'll see what happens. I've got it set at 34 pounds now. Oh, it clicked out. So I'm at 36 now. That was 36. Try 38. The other two loosened off at a lower level. Okay, well that's a tight one. Okay, now I'm at 40 pounds. Forty. I'm try 45. Oh, now it comes loose. So, like I say, the other two, they came apart at, at a lower amount. So, this is not very conclusive. I'd like to show what one of these injector nozzles looks like when I shine a light in here and then I'll uh, rotate the nozzle so there's one and there's one turn the injector nozzle some more there's one and here it gets fairly dark and I think if I Okay, a bit of turning and some angles. Okay, I'm going back now. Back, back. Here, this one. Yeah, there's some light. Turn back some more. I don't want to pour this debris back into the jug. So I'm using a primitive homemade filter. I'm 
I spent some time cleaning the injector bodies and spent some time cleaning the injector nozzles as well and I checked a few of these with the light and uh, I suspected that they could be better but I've also discovered that the angle of the ports on those uh, injector nozzles are not all the same so that can also affect how the light shines through but I've decided to let these nozzles soak for a few more days maybe several days so I've got these back in the parts cleaning solution and that's this stuff here and uh, the rest of the parts I have them just in WD-40 which uh, is a, a good rust preventative solution and it, and it may also actually act as a mild uh, rust remover as well anyways guys thanks for checking it out